Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am participating in the What Would You Make Challenge where we make everything with wood. I'll let you know more about it in a few minutes. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. Our, my name is Brenda and this is my Oliver. We're happy you stopped by. And if you're returning, welcome back. You know we love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I took six of these little eggs from Dollar, uh, the Dollar Store. And one of these rounds, this comes from Hobby Lobby. It came in a package of like six. And then three of these wood planks from Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna use my Waverly chalk paints in the color plaster, or sorry, ivory and pink sky. I I'm gonna also use my antique wax, but I also ended up using Waverly's truffle as well. So I'm gonna start off by I removed the hangers from those plaques and then I am just filling the holes with my spackling. After that, I laid them all out and I'm using my jumbo craft sticks from uh, Walmart to put them together and I'm just using my wood glue and hot glue and then I attach them just like that. Then I painted the whole thing with that truffle color. Now, once it was dry, I took my Elmer's glue and I just layered it all over my board. And I, in fact, I end up adding more. But then I just took a brush and brushed this all in. Now, I probably should have used a bigger brush. If I used a bigger brush, it might have worked a little bit better. But, <clears throat> or, uh, a little faster. It felt like it took forever. But anyways, once I had my board all covered, I'm going to pour on some paint now. I did should not have poured it on. I should have poured this in a bowl or a plate and done it from there because I poured on way too much, as you can see. Um, I had it going everywhere. So once my board was covered, um, I am going to dry it to get the crackle effect. So that's what I'm going for is the crackle effect. And look at that. Look how beautiful that is. <clears throat> I have been wanting to try this for a while and... Um, I was so excited to do this for this project, but I just love it. So again, you want to make sure the glue is not dry. You you paint over the glue when it's still wet and it does the crackle, which I just love. Then I took the eggs and painted them with the pink sky and I took that round and uh, used my antique wax on it. Then I'm um, taking my wood glue and hot glue. I'm putting them on the back of the each egg, just like you see, and then I'm putting them in the shape of a flower. After that, I went on every other petal and put wood glue and then I put hot glue on the other petals and I'm adding my round on the front. Then I took some of these half beads. I don't know what size these are. I was gonna measure them and I forgot, um, <clears throat> but they're pretty big and I am painting them with my ivory color and I always like to put them on painter's tape and then just paint and I just think it's a great way. Um, they don't move and they stay right where they're at. And it's just, to me, it's really easy. Then once they were all dry, I went and I laid them all around my wood round here. And then I'm just using hot glue to glue them on. <clears throat> and then I decided I wanted to do something more. So I took some twine and on those eggs, they have a little groove and I am just going around that groove with my twine and I just kind of filling it in. It might be a little hard to see on camera. Um, it might not be, but if it is, uh, it's pretty noticeable in real life. I could have used a little thicker twine. Um, I used the thin one that I had. And then here I'm just getting all the fuzzies off with my lighter. Then I decided I wanted some distressing along my petals. And so I'm just using some of that ivory. Um, and I am just going around and doing a little bit of distressing. Then after that, I just felt like that middle needed something. So I took one of these wood picks, um, floor, flower picks that I got from Dollar Tree. I took that middle part off of it. And then I painted it with the same color as the petals and did a little dry brushing on it as well. And then here I just used some E6000 and hot glue and um, putting that right in the middle. And the reason why I'm using the E6000 instead of the wood glue is because Almost all of my uh, paintbrushes were dirty and I didn't want to dig for my the one I used for my glue. 
<laughs> so here I just took some of this ribbon. I'm not sure where I got this. I've had it in my stash for a while. I hot glued two ends together. I did not measure it. I just kind of eyed it. And then I squished it in the middle and I'm using some twine to um, hold it tight. And then I'm going to take that floral ribbon that I just think is beautiful. I have, um, I got that from Hobby Lobby and I'm just making my bow like I normally do. I do the awareness ribbon uh, sign and then scrunch it in the middle and here I just took um, an extra piece of that brown ribbon to make for the legs and then I am just attaching both of them although I wish that brown ribbon I would have made the legs a little bit longer <laughs> but um, then I just cut down the pink ribbon and dovetailed the ends and hot glued it on and then I just took another piece of twine and I'm hot gluing them on in the back and there is my sign You'll have to let me know what you think. If I should have put that little uh, flower in the middle or I was going back and forth between that and a sane. You have to let me know what you think about this, but I think it came out adorable. <clears throat> okay, so today is the what would you make and we have to make everything with wood. And it is hosted every month by my friend, my friend ah, Zaina at OK at Home and Connie with Connie's Creative Creations and this month's guest host is Marika with Marika Creations. So make sure you check out their channels and check out the playlist. I'll have all, links to all of them in my description box below. Before or below. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. DIY number two. I haven't had my coffee yet this morning, guys. Okay, so I'm going to use two hearts from this little pack from Dollar Tree and then a half bead there. And then I'm going to use, I couldn't decide if I was going to use uh, the bigger carrots or the mini carrots. I end up using the mini carrots. I'm going to use some Spanish moss. I'm going to use these wood pieces I got from a thrift store. There was a three pack for 99 cents. So I, of course I had to grab them. And I've had them in my stash for a while. <clears throat> and then this MDF piece from um, Dollar Tree. I am going to use some onion grass and then my rust-oleum chalk paint and the color linen white and then some floral foam there okay so i started off by painting all of those white i did two coats on on everything um that white board you guys are the white mdf board i just cleaned out my closet in my craft room and i didn't realize how many of those i have oh my goodness anyways so once the the wood pieces were painted. I went around with my finger sander and sanded the edges of all of them. And then I just did a small sanding in the middle just to kind of give it a little bit of a rustic look. <clears throat> now, here is when my non-drawing skills <laughs> took over. I thought, okay, I can, I can use my pencil and draw this in. Oh my goodness, it didn't turn out that great, but they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I made some eyes with a black, uh, I'm using a black paint m marker that my husband got me for Christmas, which I think he actually got from Timu. Anyways, I made faces on all those bunnies. And then I took those hearts in that half bead and I painted it with that pink blush color from, what was that, Apple Barrel, I think. And I colored in some cheeks. And then I did use my black Sharpie to go over the cheeks so that the whiskers go over the cheeks not under anyways but here I'm using some hot glue to add those hearts and that half bead for noses and then I took this burlap ribbon and I am creating I think I got this from Dollar Tree but I am creating ears so I just I made one and then I just used it as a template and I'm cutting them all out and I did uh, of course two ears for each so I did six of those once I had that done, I took some of this uh, beautiful floral ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I'm doing the same thing. I'm using that same template and cutting out. I did uh, four of those and then I used this black one for the, the dad. And this, so I'm just taking my hot glue here and I am adding them onto that burlap. And then once the, those were done, I did the same thing with the floral. I'm just going to use my hot glue and add uh, them onto the burlap. And if you do that and you use burlap, be careful because you know it, the hot glue does soak in so you can uh, burn yourself. 
um, ask me how I know. And, <laughs> and then I am just going in and hot gluing the ears to the top of my bunnies. And when I do hot glue it, I kind of do it like a U shape. And then I just kind of curve, curve the ear and um, I bring it down some. I don't know how to explain it. I should have showed it better. Anyway, sorry guys. And I took some more of this ribbon and I'm hot gluing the two ends together. And then I am uh, going to scrunch it up and make a little bow for the head of the bunnies. The baby bunny is a girl, I guess, because I decided to give her that kind of bow um, and ears. And then uh, I did one for the mom. And once I have those all done, I did the same thing for the dad out of the same uh ribbon that matched his ears but I made that as a bow tie so isn't that cute <laughs> then I decided okay the man needs something on his head too so I took some uh twine that I had and just kind of cut it down and I am just hot gluing it along the front of his head so he has some hair and then I uh, created a decal with my Cricut and I'm just going to put it on the front of my little MDF um, piece here and it says cottontail carrot patch. <clears throat> and then I took wood glue and hot glue and glued my little bunnies onto my uh, MDF piece. And then after that, I took some of that uh, floral foam and hot glued them to the ends. And then I'm just going to add some moss over both of them. And then this onion grass, I kind of cut this down, but I just added some onion grass in there. I felt like it made it look like there's uh, carrots growing. I probably should have made it a little shorter than what I did, but I can always cut that down. Then I took some of these little mini carrots here and I just start hot gluing them all over the board. I added some more Spanish moss to the front there and then just kind of kept going with the the mini carrots and then I'm going to trim it all up so that there's not uh, Spanish moss hanging all over the front and there it is you all have to let me know what you think what yeah what you think of this I just think it came out adorable I did add a little bit of white um, with my white marker in the eyes but I don't know I think that makes it kind of look funny I might put a little blue dot or something in there <laughs> I want to take this moment to thank all of my subscribers. You guys mean the world to me and I appreciate all of you. And if you are watching today and you enjoy this video, please give me a, or a subscribe and become part of our family. And then you guys could get, make sure you give me that thumbs up and comment and watch those ads to help support my channel. And if you would like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my accounts in my description box, as well as a link to my Buy Me A Coffee account if you'd like to help with my supplies. Okay, it is time for a celebration of your recreation. And beautiful Terry, she recreated my sign that I made a few weeks ago. And oh, it turned out beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. And Susan made these beautiful uh, pieces for her friend's bathroom. Oh, thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate you sharing those with us. And if you have a creation or recreation you would like me to showcase, you can send me pictures to my email address listed there or through Instagram or Facebook Messenger, and I'd be more than happy to showcase them here for you. So here's DIY number three. So for this DIY, I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. This beautiful napkin that I really wanted to use on my previous uh video but I never got a chance to and then this bread board or charcuterie board from uh, this was from the Walmart dollar spot it was five dollars so I started off by using some painters tape and taping off just about the top mm, I don't know a third of it maybe and then I painted it with my um, my chalk paint here and I'm just going to paint this top part as well as the handle. I did not paint the back. I was really good. I, I was so proud of myself. I didn't, didn't get any on the back and normally I get it all over the back when I paint. <laughs> um, and then uh, once I had this all painted and dried, I fussy cutted some flowers out of this napkin. This napkin, I don't remember who it sent, who sent it to me, but I, I think it might've been Mia. But I just thought it was so beautiful. Beautiful. I've seen other people use it and I've always wanted 
to use it. And I was so excited when I got it, but I never got to use it. It didn't match with what I was already doing. I was really bummed. But anyways, side note. Okay. Uh, back to, I'm taking my Mod Pod here and I'm just going over that painted area. Not the neck part, but just that top part there. And then I laid out my flowers just like I wanted them. And I'm putting my parchment paper down and using my heat press. Now, if you saw my recent video, you saw how when I did this method, it pulled up the paint. I think the reason why was because I put Mod Podge over that whole area when I only needed it in that one spot. And I think that's what happened uh, when I pulled up the parchment paper, it pulled up the paint because there was no napkin there as a barrier, if that makes sense. I, I That's the only thing I can think of. And someone suggested that, and I think they're correct. So anyways, once I was done, and it worked right this time, I took this, I think this is bright magenta, and uh, I made polka dots because I just felt like it needed something more. And then once that was dry, I took some uh, ribbon that I got last year from Dollar Tree, and I just hot glued it to the front. And then I took a little bit more. I felt like it needed a kind of a border for that area. So I just hot glued it right there too. And then I will just hot glue the ends down. The ends on the top part were at a little bit of an angle, but that's okay. I just hot glued it and then trimmed the little pieces down. And um, then I just felt like the bottom needed just something more. So I took some of those flowers. They came from a pack from... Uh, Dollar Tree and I painted it with those colors there it was uh, what were those colors oh well <laughs> I'll have it in my description box and then I hot glued those flowers on if you're new here I always have a list of what I used in my description box so you can always check that out if you're wanting to know what I used and then I also have my links to everything too okay and then I am hot gluing those flowers here and that's all there is for this one, I think. Yeah, no, I took a little some twine and made a tiny little bow to put on that top piece of ribbon. And then that was all there is for this one. But I really love how this came out. I just think it's simple, but yet yeah, really pretty. And I'm going to put this in my kitchen for sure. So you'll have to let me know what you think about this one. You'll have to let me know what you think about all of them in the comment box below. There's the reveal of it, and then we'll have the final reveal of everything in just a few seconds here. But again, if you're new here, or if you aren't new, but you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it, and I'd love to see you join our family. And then make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and comment before you go. Make sure you check out the playlist and Zaina, Connie, and Marika's channels. Also, I want to give a huge thank you again to all my subscribers because I just reached 12,000 finally. It felt like it took forever, but I appreciate all of you guys and you guys are all the reasons why I do this. So I will be back again on Wednesday the 1st with another video. So with all that being said, you guys have a blessed weekend and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.